Hello friends and welcome to PyShine. This video is about creating a dynamic graphical user interface for the data visualization in Python. This is part 6 of the PyQt5 learning series. We will integrate matplotlib in the PyQt5 GUI. By the end of this video, you will be able to make custom applications to plot data from a CSV file. A variety of themes can be applied and saved as well. A CSV file contains, comma, separated, values. Let's say, we have two columns, A and B. We need to plot the data under each of them. With an open button on the GUI, we can read this file and plot the data using matplotlib. Each column data can be plotted with a separate color and label. So let's start by opening the designer application of PyQt5. If you are new to this channel, please watch part 1 of this PyQt5 learning series for basic setup of the designer. The link is available in the description below. We will add two menu items under the file menu. These are open CSV file and exit. Let's also add a push button and a combo box. The combo box will be used to select theme. So let's put label widget for that. We put the horizontal spacer and then select all of them to provide a horizontal layout. Similarly, we require a vertical spacer and we will add it to a vertical layout. After that, give it grid layout. In this way, the GUI remains intact. Let's rename the push button as open. Save it as main.ui. Let's convert this user interface file to Python file. Let's open the main.py file and fix the indentations. Let's save and run this file. All right, now it's time to add the additional code. We will connect the combo box to the update function. A list of various themes is added to the combo box. The push button is connected to the get file function. The get file function will use the queue file dialog to get the file location. Let's run to check if things are working fine. Alright, so the default index of the combo box is zero, which means the first theme is BMH. The open button gives error, because the Q file dialog is not defined. So let's import the essentials.
All right, let's save and run again. This time, as we press the open button and select a file, the complete file address is obtained. Now, to draw the plot, we need a canvas object from the matplotlib. So let's make a class named matplotlib canvas. Let's set the figure width equal to 5 inch and height equal to 4 inch. The dot per inch is set to 120, however, you can change them according to your requirements. Let's initialize the file name variable, the canvas, the data frame, and the navigation toolbar. Now, we can add this navigation toolbar to the horizontal layout. Since we have not imported the matplotlib built-in figure, so we will encounter an error, so let's import the figure. Now, let's save and run it. We have a new toolbar added to the horizontal layout. Next, let's make a read data function to load a CSV file data into pandas data frame. Here, we have called the update function with the first theme value. Every time the update function is called, the canvas and toolbar will also refresh.
Here we will plot the data. The legend is kept draggable. To avoid undefined variable error, let's bring the connect combo box statement down. Now, if we open the CSV file, the data will appear as shown. We still have a spacer item 1 to fix. So, let's make it self.spacer item 1. In this way, it can be accessed anywhere in this class. You can see that the legend can be dragged anywhere on the canvas. And we can change any of the available themes. Let's explore the navigation toolbar. A lot of changes can be made, such as title, X and Y labels, and curve properties. We can also save the plot in numerous formats. Let's try to open a different CSV file. That's all for today. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to PyShine. Have a nice day and see you again.